right, so here is the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. It wasn't all that long ago that he beat Alexander Volkov, had won nine of 10, and earned a title shot against you in New York City. Derek Lewis back on the grind here tonight. Derek Lewis is a beast and one of the strongest guys that I have ever felt inside of the octagon. Every time his punches land, you can feel this unbelievable thud up against your head, in the body, and everything he does, it is just absolute power. He's a very, very good athlete, as he shows with these double kicks that he always likes to throw up. Derek Lewis, when you win nine out of 10 fights, you're a monster. And he is on paper one of the more prolific knockout artists this division historically has ever seen. The Black Beast, ready to get back to it here tonight. DC, here he is, the one, the only, don't call him Kevin Ferguson. He, of course, is Kimbo Slice. And when you're talking about mixed martial arts and its footprint in the United States of America, Kimbo Slice is a guy who deserves a lot of credit for this mass expansion, at least in my mind. Absolutely, because when Kimbo Slice fought, people tuned in from the Ultimate Fighter to his days outside of the UFC. Some of the biggest TV ratings we've ever experienced are attributed to Kimbo Slice. He's a guy that people just want to see. From the backyard brawls to the octagon, Kimbo Slice is very special. And probably the nicest guy you would ever want to meet, except look like it. when that octagon door <laughs> he doesn't closes. Look like exactly. it, but he is a great guy. Kimbo Slice, ready to reward his supporters once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee for this one. Ready. All right, we are underway with this stand up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here no grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. That's good defense to block that punch. Straight punch is true. Derek Lewis. Hands on your face. 
Just misses there with the left. So Lewis's forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. Under two minutes now. Pinpoint accuracy on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. And both guys really throwing with authority. Put your hands up higher. Oh, a nice straight there by Kimbo Slice. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Well, watch for him to set up that hook. Just out of range with the oh, Beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh. Oh. What an end to round one. Oh, All right, mercifully, that is it for the round. And Lewis has got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. He had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. All right, so the celebration is on, not just here, but in Houston, Texas, and beyond for the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. You know, few heavyweights have been as active and few have been as effective as Lewis dating to his UFC debut back in 2014. So Derek Lewis continues to 